Hi guys, so keeping that left arm straight all the way into the top of the backswing, why is that such a big deal? What is the problem if I bend my left arm a little bit? And really the main thing that we wanna guard against if we're starting to bend that left arm in the backswing is we wanna make sure that we're rotating our chest. So it's very easy just to pick the club up, not to rotate the chest at all, and I can just bend this back with my arm. So if I let my arms fold, all of a sudden I'm at the top of my swing, I'm almost parallel with the ground with my club, and I haven't made a good turn at all. So essentially what I've done there is I've just picked the club up with my hands and arms, and I'm not gonna have very much power or speed if I do it that way. The second piece is as we're coming through contact, if I stop my body there, so in the backswing, if I don't rotate my body enough, I'm gonna end up just picking it up with my hands and arms, my left arm is gonna bend. In the downswing, if I don't rotate my body open enough, my hips are gonna stall out. I'm gonna to try to swing through, but my arms won't be able to keep moving. And I'm gonna end up getting that chicken wing type move as I'm coming through contact to try to keep the club moving through there. So that looks something like this. If I'm swinging this direction, if my hips stall out, a lot of times you'll see coming up out of your posture, the hips don't open up. And now I get that chicken wing type action to try to keep the club moving on through there and getting some speed. So we know that's an issue. Now, how do we solve that? Well, the first piece is make sure that your chest rotates in the backswing. And what I like to feel, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an exaggeration here, but I like to feel like my chest is leading the way and my hands are kind of trailing behind and not till the top of the swing do my hands, arms, and club kind of catch up to my, my chest. I also wanna make sure my hips rotate. If you're not very flexible, you may want to lift your left heel slightly off the ground just to get you a little bit more rotation, a little bit more flexibility. So I'm going to exaggerate here in one of these swings, and then we'll go ahead and show the, the real swing. Here's my exaggerated the feeling that I'm going to have. Chest leading the way, hips are rotating. Now my arms are coming to the top of the swing. Now that's very goofy looking. That's not really what we're going to be doing when we're swinging. But if I make a real swing like that, you'll notice that now I've gotten all this rotation. I can easily keep my arms straighter at the top of the swing. As soon as my chest slows down and stops moving, the only way to keep that club moving back is by folding my arms up. So let me give you that, that exaggerated feeling here, and you'll see it doesn't actually look like that when I swing. There we go, hit that one right down the middle. Nice ball, and I felt like my arms stayed nice and straight at the top of the swing. Now one thing to keep in mind is, some players are gonna bend their arm a little bit at the top of the swing, but they're still gonna make that good chest and shoulder rotation. And that's completely fine. If I go to the top of my swing, I make this great rotation and my arm is a little bit bent. Maybe I'm just not very flexible in my shoulders. So I'm getting this great big turn. Everything looks great there, but my arm's a little bit bent at the top. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. We just need to guard against picking it up with the arms and not rotating the chest. The main goal is what we call the power turn in the top speed golf system which is getting that good turn with your core, that's gonna allow you to get that great swing speed, whether the arm is a little bit bent or it's not a little bit bent. So the left arm really isn't the culprit, that's just a byproduct of your turn. Same thing in the downswing. As I come through the ball, I wanna make sure that my hips are rotating open. As I come through contact, this is another piece of the top speed golf system, what we call the straight line release. If I can imagine that I have a ball, let's say about four feet in front, of this, this ball that I'm hitting and it's going down my target line. What I wanna feel like here is that my hips, so my hips, my belt buckle, it's facing toward the ball. At contact, my shoulders are actually gonna be, or my, my chest is actually gonna be pointing slightly toward that ball. PGA Tour average is about 20 to 30 degrees open with your rib cage or what's called your thorax. So as this comes to contact, my rib cage is actually, if I remove my left arm, my rib cage is actually pointing up here also. And then my club is the last one to go. So if I open up my hips, my shoulders are wanting to open up, my club's lagging behind. Well now I can release this club out in front and look at my left arm. It's very easy to keep this straight. Let's do the opposite now. If I keep everything pointing toward this golf ball, my hips, my shoulders, my, my rib cage, everything's pointing to the ball. If I wanna keep that club moving forward, the only way to get it to move forward is to bend that left arm up. And that's why we see a lot of chicken wing motions there too. So the culprit, again, the culprit isn't the left arm. The culprit is your rotation coming through the ball. So do a couple practice swings for me. I want you to pause at what we call the straight line release, which would be right after impact. Now my hips, my shoulders, chest, arms, everything's pointing to that ball in front. 
And if that's my release point, that chicken wing is going to go away because my body's going to be open enough. So let's go ahead and give that a whirl. We'll try that one out and see how it looks. See if my left arm stays nice and straight. There we go, another one right down the middle. Hit that one well. So put those pieces together. Number one, do about 30 reps or so, getting that good rotation with your chest in the backswing. Feel like your arms are nice and wide as you're doing that. If my shoulders stop, my arms are gonna fold. If my shoulders keep on going, my arm is gonna stay straight. So the chest leads the way. In the downswing, we just turn it the other direction. Visualize that straight line release. Hips, shoulders, arms, everything releasing that ball in front. Do another 20, 30 reps. Just practice swings, getting comfortable with that. Then put those two together, hit the range. You're gonna be hitting it a lot more solid. Like I see, you'll notice in both of these problems with the left arm, the culprit was really the body. And the solution to this is what we call the power turn in the top speed golf system. That's that good turn going back, good turn going through. If you'd like to build on that, I got an awesome bonus video for you. I'm gonna play a preview of that here in a second. Go ahead and click the card up on your screen or down below in the description. You're gonna get instant access to that. I tell you, you're gonna make a bigger turn the speed's gonna come easier, and golf's gonna be a lot more fun. Let's go ahead and get started. With the correct technique, we can all hit it with really good distance without a lot of muscular effort. And it all starts out, the very first thing that you have to do is get a good, powerful turn to load up the body. And it's not only in golf, but in all sports, we have to rotate the body. At least 90 degrees with the shoulders as you swing to the top. Preferably, we can go even a little bit past 90 to really get loaded up. That's gonna allow us to have a lot of power. So. We don't just have to look at golf for this. Let's actually look at other sports. They're rotating their body, then they're coming forward. So we have to get that load. We have to get this big shoulder turn to be able to create power in the golf swing. So in this series of videos, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. That's one of the first keys to getting power. And we're all gonna get at least a 90 degree turn. If not more than that, I think you'll be surprised at what you can do. So let's go ahead and get started with the next series of videos. And I'm gonna show you how to get this big, powerful turn. All right, guys, so before we go, let's take a look at this in action with some of the top pros. Now, here we're looking at Adam Scott, and you're going to see as he rotates to the top, good full shoulder turn. This is pretty typical of what I see with the top pros, a little past 90. Those guys are working on their flexibility, so sometimes they can get to 100 or even 110 degrees.